Okay, so here's a quick video um, 3D printing one of those awkward materials which is ABS. It has real bed adhesion issues and you know it's very prone to warping. Uh, but here we've got uh, it's an upbox plus, it's been heavily modified, it's running a Duet Wi Fi, it's got a BL touch for bed leveling, liquid cooled hot end, and all sorts of bits and pieces on it. Um, but yeah, we're printing ABS um, and the bed. Cold, cold bed. How is that possible? Well, you might have not noticed, but this is just a thin sheet of uh, ABS. <laughs> it's, it's pretty straightforward, really. Um, it's, uh, you can get it from many suppliers on the internet, or many, many, many areas, and you know, plastic sheeting, all sorts of things. Uh, it doesn't need to be particularly thick. This is a little bit thicker than I wanted. I think it's nearly a mil thick, but you get away with 0.2 of a mil. Uh, it just clamps to the bed. Uh, and yet, well, it's a funny thing, actually. ABS tends to stick to ABS quite well. Uh, so there you can see uh, this is an original print, just of a test, empty test box. Um, and it's adhered to the bed so well that when I tried to pull it off, it's actually sheared on the print layer. Uh, near the bottom, and uh, that was printed with a 0.25mm uh, Z offset as well. So this one I've gone a little bit more extreme, printing it with a 0.4mm Z offset. So, hoping that perhaps you might be able to peel that one away. Uh, but even if not, you know, if you're doing you know a big print and you want to do it in ABS, and there's a real risk that it's going to warp uh, or come away from the bed, and you know, especially if it's a you know, a big model in something on a you know in a, in a printer of this sort of size where you've got 200 odd mil build height. The last thing you want is it for it to fail through poor bed adhesion. So, you know, printing one of these things uh, on on a sheet of ABS uh, probably would guarantee that the print doesn't warp at all and doesn't come away from the bed. And you can print it with a cold bed as well, which is a little bit more efficient. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, Probably a belt and braces way of making sure that you don't have any failed ABS prints. So I'll come back to this in a bit when it's done uh, and we'll see how tough it is to remove from the bed. And I guess even if you were doing a big print and you you know you could you destroyed the ABS sheet having to get the print off it, it doesn't really matter because these sheets are cheap as anything and you know compared to 10 hours on a massive print and it failing compared to wasting you know, 50, 50p a pound on a, on a sheet of ABS plastic just to make sure your print works, it's probably worth it. Uh, anyway, yeah, we'll come back to it later on and, uh, and see how easy it is to remove. Okay, yeah, so the print's finished now. Um, as you can see, that, that stuck to this sheet of ABS pretty good. Um, the last one I tried to pick off with a 0.25 offset sheared on the print and it stays stuck to the bed. Uh, this one was with a 0.35 or 0.4 I think, so I'm hoping this one might come off. You never know. Oh, it's looking like it's going to. Or is it, is it going to break at the bottom again? I'm not sure. Mm, I think it might be going to break at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it does does adhere pretty damn well. Um, yeah, which I don't know what I, uh, I might just see if I get a spatula and see if that will anywhere near come off. But I guess what you you could argue if you wanted to do a, uh, an ABS print of something and you wanted a really nice smooth base on it, because obviously the underside of this ABS sheet looked just like this surface here. Uh, it would give you a, a really, really, really nice base to the whatever you've printed, uh, and you could get away with printing your model with no uh, no bottom layers for the very first part. Um, anyway, let's see if this comes off. It's gonna be a bit tricky because I think this bed's going to move. Probably should have left the steppers enabled. Let's see. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, blimey. There we go. It's starting to come off. And what's it? What's it? Ah. Okay. So with a 0.4 layer height, 0.25, yeah, you, not a, oh no, even 0.25, it's, yeah, it's all moving now, but with a 0.25, yeah, it, yeah, there's a chance it'll come away, um, as you can, you can see the ABS, the whitening there, it's, you know, stress, stress the plastic more here with a 0.25 than, than it probably has on this one. But yeah, theoretically, you can, you can get it get it off. Um, so I guess if you printed it really close, um, so that was I think that was like I say, it's 0.25. Print it closer, and you'd you'd have a pretty solid, nice bottom layer for your ABS model. Uh, if you print it higher up, and you want to be able to peel it away, then yeah, you need to be going at like for a, a 0.4 nozzle offset, or maybe maybe even higher. Uh, it'd be interesting to know at what point it actually won't adhere to the bed at all. Um, I'm guessing when you start to get to sort of 0.5 and above you're not going to stick much at all but, but yeah um, for a 50p to a pound piece of ABS sheet there you go, it's a bit thick this one, you can probably buy it uh, thinner than that um, it'd be cheaper um, I suspect you get absolutely amazing ABS prints that adhere every time um, obviously you've got to factor the price of the sheet into your, your parts if you're doing it for a business but it's not exactly mega bucks uh, but yeah that's a great way of making ultra reliable ABS prints ok bye for now